Hey, it's Tanya, and this is my final layout using the July Citrus Twist Kits, and this one is all about me. Yay! <laughs> I turned 45 the other day, and I had actually especially been keeping that 4 and 5 from one of the puffy sticker sets that we got in the kit, because I figured, well, you know, they're really pretty, and I want to use them. And there were these acrylic shaped, this word, dear which is super pretty and you'll see I'm faffing with it there because I'm trying to get it to be a bit more readable because they're very, very sheer. They're beautiful. They really are very pretty. So I wrote down my lovely title to myself for just a little bit of a, a boost because, you know, you, you turn 45 and, well, you either decide your life is over or you decide that your life is just starting. And I'm going with my life is just starting because I am, yeah, things are going well with me. I've decided to get a little bit healthier. So I'm on a sort of trimming down program, which doesn't include exercise. Let me put that out there. I don't do exercise. Exercise and me just don't go well together. So it's more a case of eating better, eating less junk and hopefully losing weight that way so that's going really that's going actually really well for me and I'm doing well at work and I'm just feeling really good about myself so that is why I went with the title that says dear 45 year old me I well not <laughs> I do know what it says I do I promise okay <laughs> I have a feeling <laughs> I don't need to wait for me to see what I'm doing next. I have a feeling the year ahead is destined for greatness because I believe that. I I just feel good. And I tried a variety of letter stickers for the word feeling and the first one I didn't have a G and then the second one it didn't look right to me which is why I went back to those black and white ones which are really quite fun and they tie in with the year old at the top there and then I was thinking maybe I could use this word on the uh, catapult sheet that comes in the kit which is something epic but I didn't like too much of the black going on there so I decided to go back to my idea of greatness and I bring in those pink letters again as you'll see just now I do all my titles like this on wax paper because they it's easy to move around and you know you can change your mind as I always do with these things change it often it's a woman's prerogative so there we go and I'm still now I'm thinking heck you know that dear you just can't see it so I thought maybe I could bring in a little bit of that paper but that didn't help either because you still can't see it so so that's just was just about useless. <laughs> I do come up with a with a solution in the end. There we go. It's my only alcohol marker I have and it just happens to be in the right colour. Then again that tealy colour is very prominent in all the kits so it was a good buy on my part. And this is an epic epic disaster. Right I want to tiny attach my arrow there and now it's all loose and I'm thinking, OK, well, let me turn it over and I'll just, you know, put those prongs down. But there wasn't enough prong to come down. And then I was getting frustrated. So I thought, stuff it. And I got out the big one. Oh, yeah, we all we all know Tim Holtz needs to bring out a gigantic tiny attacher for us. He really does. So there's my giant staples. And I have to now... I'm now putting it down at the back there because they're also very loose and the ugly washi to just, you know, just finish that back off so that we don't hurt ourselves if we pull the layout out. And we're fun filming the picture, which is of me at my birthday lunch, which we all went to, the family and I, and we had a great time. So yes, I've had a fantastic birthday it's it's been an, a birthday weekend I love those I actually love birthdays it's just I tend to start reminding people several weeks before that my birthday's coming up and it's become quite a bit of a joke now <laughs> I just can't help it I just I just love birthdays I think I'll be 90 years old and I'll still get excited by the fact that it's my birthday and I was thoroughly spoiled 
I got, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that my husband, my darling husband, gave me a gigantic, I mean, we are talking massive. We are talking super-sized lens. And it's just, <laughs> it's incredible. So I am so excited about it, and I've been trying to use it wherever I can, and it's really heavy. And I um, I cannot wait for when we go back to the Kruger, because I am going to get that lion and that cheetah well you know if we see them i am going to be able to see right into their eyeballs and up their nostrils it's just going to be superb so i am beyond excited about that and i got lots of other lovely stuff too i got bubbles from people you know not 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 champagne bubbles i like that too but no bubble bath bubbles because you know everybody loves a bubble bath and oh just just some lovely lovely stuff so i have had a fantastic time and thank you to everybody that said happy birthday to me that i really appreciated that i've never felt so special in my entire life <laughs> so what have i done not a lot really yeah that didn't work well that hello gorgeous i i like the sentiment you know but I felt the shape was all wrong, so I pulled it off the photograph. And now, now we have one of those long-winded processes where I try and decide what to put where. And those balloons do go because I thought they worked well there, and then I decided they didn't work well there. So now I have got that little heart and circle on my photograph, and I've got this traveling heart. Oh yes, that heart goes everywhere on the page. And you want to know something? Yep, it ends up where it is now. I know, I know, it's cray cray. I just, I just, it's just the way I work. <laughs> but now I want to bring in the blue, but that, that, that round sticker really stuck well. So because the five of the 45 has that deep blue in it, so I'm going on my, I need to have deep blue in three places. So I'm happy with the heart there and I have that tiny little, I think it says mom something, but I stuck it under there because you don't really need to see the word. I just wanted the hint of blue. And then I've got the heart there with a little pink heart on it and the wording, these little words, can't remember what they say, something motivational. And so now I'm thinking, mm, mm, what should I do? And then I think maybe that pink heart isn't working very well. So then I try the heart again. Yes, all over. Every conceivable spot. Then I think, oh, hey, hey, that doesn't look too bad there. Let's try that there. And I mean, while we're at it, why not put a diamond shape on it? I mean, go me. But then I said, no, nope, 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 doesn't work. And then we figure, why not add a cloud? I mean, obviously a cloud is, is just a perfect, perfect little thing for that heart. And then we think, well, we better put the other part of the cloud somewhere, not there. Let's try it there, but no, that doesn't work. So we think maybe let's shove it on there. And we still have the heart going, oh, we haven't tried that. No, we've tried that spot already, Tanya. And we didn't like it. No, remember? Do you remember? Yes, we do. We remember now. And then, oh, I was just showing you, I did outline the, uh, the ampersand shape with a black pen. And then I brought the little heart back to its home oh and just to say these the, these what's that <laughs> the outline this ampersand outline was the leftover from the cut file that i did in my previous layout i like doing that actually it you don't waste paper that way and you get some interesting results so now i'm just finishing it off a little bit with those diamond shapes at the bottom and then there was another little acrylic word in this kit that said story um, it's pretty and it's pink you can't really see it in this but it is pink so I figured the bottom of that ampersand looked a little empty so that's what I did and I brought in and I said that was the story and I did some stars around because I felt the ampersand was looking a little bleak not bleak but you know a little a little sad and then I figured no I have to do my photo in color because I actually prefer color photos to black and white and then you can see my lovely red hair so there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Really, really long title. And yes, it's going to be a good year. Thanks for watching. Bye.